So we are at the midway point uh, during the second day here at FEFCO, uh, the technical seminar here in Lyon. Uh, delighted to be on the BW Paper Systems stand with Martin. Martin, thank you for joining me today. Lovely seeing you again, Dan. Yeah, so uh, listen, FEFCO, big event for yeah, you guys. Yeah. Uh, how's the first two days gone? Uh, very good. We, we, we really enjoy FEFCO. It's a great place to come. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of footfall around here, customers and suppliers, all suppliers, friends of ours in industry. Yeah. Uh, it's been very productive. We've even made a machine sale here. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. No, uh, FEFCO is a good event and it's also we find it very educational because every two years there are new developments, some we may have missed along the way and we come here and we catch up. Uh, a lot of news on the paper side too. Always yes. good, good, good things to know. Yeah. And, and of course FEFCO is very um, heavily entrenched in technical aspects of the Indeed, industry yeah. as well as all of the work they do yeah. with with politics and with with Brussels etc but um, I think what's really come through uh, the last couple of days is, is the content that is looking at uh, energy reduction sustainability etc um, what does that mean to BW Paper Systems? Well Dan, to be honest, in the last couple of years the focus has really grown on sustainability. Yeah. Uh, we've really looked at our machine designs because we know we, we need to be sustainable. Yeah. And uh, we talk about a better world, BW, and we must leave the place in a better state than where we found it. Yeah. So our machines must be sustainable. We're doing a lot of work on our technology, modern drive technology, regeneration on the braking systems of the corrugator, a lot of focus on heat energy, yes. uh, new systems, steam systems, yes. well engineered systems, and also working with rival partners that will back us up because we don't always have all the answers. So we've got some partners in the industry we work with very closely, but definitely a big drive on having uh, very sustainable machinery for the years to come. And it's, it's evolving so fast, it really is. And that combined with some new innovation we have in the corrugator for ourselves, technology we're working on, I think the next year, year and a half, you're going to see some interesting things coming out of our, of our portfolio. Great, well, I'll be looking forward to seeing that I mean if you look back obviously BW Paper Systems is, is a, um, a growth and amalgamation of well-known names from, from our past effectively yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think it would be fair to say that um, obviously all the development was aimed at the American market and kind of Europe got a little bit forgotten about but you guys have made good on that. Oh, yeah. Big yeah, news, yeah, you know, the yeah, investment yeah, earlier yeah, this yeah. year with the opening of, uh, of the Hamburg facility. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about the backstory on that. Well, PW acquired ECH Will some years back and they were in an industry, a high-tech industry, in the paper mill industry, cutting yeah. A4, A3 paper machines. Very good technology, great people. Yeah. And we were booming in America with finishing machines. We couldn't build them fast enough. Yeah, yeah. So we thought, why don't we use this site in Hamburg, which had some spare capacity, yeah. and use that skill set to build local for local. Yes. So about a year and a half ago, we started working on transferring products into the Hamburg site, yes. fully metric, yes. made in Germany, yes. made by very skilled craftspeople, yes. and now we've actually started delivering some products out of the Hamburg site already. Okay. And we're building up, of course, a service supports uh, section here too, to back up that manufacturing site. So we're very, very excited about it, and it's going really well. Yeah. Uh, because they're adaptable people and they're skilled. And, uh, and they're used to working in a very, very difficult environment in the paper mills yes. and sometimes demanding customers. So they know how to support the customers too. So. And, and um, I, I know because obviously we've talked about this before, but you gradually phased up Hamburg, right? Yeah. So you started just assembling bits, yeah. but now you're in full line production. Yes. So yeah. you mentioned that you're building European machines for European yes, customers. Are, yeah. So, um, how has the market reacted to that? Uh, extremely well. We had expected it would do, but it has, because we were sometimes seen as an American company, yes, yes. far away. Yeah. But no, we're, we've been in Europe for 30 more years. Yeah, yeah. But now with the Hamburg manufacturing site, uh, they know they're getting quality equipment. We've already delivered some uh, mini folder gluers. Yes. We're building this machine here in Hamburg, so our servo rotary die cutter. Yes. Uh, we got several, some running in Europe already, and it's it's really taking off. And I think having a, a local site builds trust. Customers feel they're here for the long term. It's not just be here in a few years and gone again. We're here for a, a, the long term. And, and of course, helped by the fact that some of those first installations have gone to customers that are well respected in their yep. local markets. Yep. Uh, so you've already got some uh, some of the mini pros installed yep. in in Italy. Yep. Uh, so how many of those European made machines are now in day to day operation? Oh, uh, dozens actually. You know, not all all made in, in Hamburg. So we made 
were made initially originally and yeah. we moved them into Hamburg now. Yeah. Um, so there's there are multiple of them running and they're running at uh, large integrated groups and also at small independent companies yes. too because um, you know the, the DNA of the machine came from a Corioni uh, company and uh, we've managed to evolve that into something uh, even more modern and uh, more acceptable for the uh, for the more demanding customers in the industry. So uh, we just did some work with, the, with a large European group uh, just recently in Europe. Startup machine went really well and uh, we're building more and more uh, trust and credibility with those large groups as well. So it's going really pretty good actually. Good, yeah. good. And, and another important market for you, Middle East, Middle East oh. and Africa. Um, are you now servicing that out of Hamburg as well? How, how has the structure changed for those international markets? Well, uh, as you may well know, Ham Frankfurt has been our service centre for eons. Yes. Uh, since Mark back in the old days yes. came to Europe. Yes. And we keep our, our local service organisation there. And well, our people live everywhere. We've got people living all over Europe. Uh, and we have been servicing the Middle East for a long, long time. And it's been a very good market and a very uh, honest market for us. Uh, great customers, fantastic hospitality, and uh, they appreciate our build quality. Um, so we keep supporting it from, from uh, Frankfurt and also some support from Hamburg on the newer machines. So for us, it's not Frankfurt Hamburg, it's, it's our European organization. And as you know from the COVID times, people are living everywhere and Absolutely. still operating very effectively. So that's, uh, and we've got new systems to support that too. Uh, remote systems, uh, team calls, uh, fault finding machine on your telephone type thing. All, yeah. all this is available today. So it's uh, great. Well, Martin, thanks so much for, for sharing all the update news. Uh, obviously, really looking forward to hearing the, uh, the press announcements on uh, the successful machine sale from the Fafco event. But thank you ever so much indeed. Great to see you, Martin. Thank you, Dan. Thank you very much.